A logging firm in Isabella operates a diesel electric plant to supply its electric energy requirements. During a 24 hour period, the plant consumed 250 gallons of fuel at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It sounds like our volume flow rate for the fuel. And produced 2,900 kilowatt hours of net work. Industrial fuel is used at 30 degrees API and was purchased at 30p per litre at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the overall thermal efficiency of the plant. So we are looking for A, and that is equal to network over the heat added times 100%. So this means this part of the problem is irrelevant. So our first clue is the API, and we have the following formula for our API. And of course, put the value in, and we should get a specific gravity of 0 0.876 at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so we do need to use our correction factor here. Our temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And we should get a correction factor of 0.992. And to get our specific gravity at 80 degrees F, we simply multiply the correction factor by the specific gravity at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and that should give us 0 0.869 as our specific gravity at 80 degrees F. So next, we need to find our QA. QA has the following formula, mass flow rate times our higher heating value. So let's try to find our mass flow rate first. And we know the mass flow rate to be equal to the volume flow rate times the density of our fuel. So we can simply put our values in here. I'm going to need more space. M sub F should be in kilograms per second. So first have to convert our 250 gallons of fuel for 24 hours into cubic meters per second. So therefore, one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds and one cubic meter is equal to 264.17 gallons. And then we multiply that by the density of our fuel by simply multiplying our SG, 0.869 times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. And we do get a mass flow rate of 0 0.00952 cubic meters per second. Right, so we already have our mass flow rate. Next, our higher heating value. This is 41,130 plus 139. 0.6 times our API, which is 30 degrees. And we get a higher heating value of 45,138 kilojoules per kilogram. And now we have our higher heating value. So going back, our our overall thermal efficiency is E is equal to 
Oh, we know our work net. 2,900 kilowatt hours. Uh, 24 hours. Don't forget this, so that these cancel out. And we know our mass fuel rate is 0 0.00952. And of course, our high heating value, 45,138 kilojoules per kilogram. So these cancel out. And we get an E of 28%. That is our final answer. If this helped, consider liking, subscribing, and of course, supporting me on Patreon. Thanks.